go. First stop, my little scouting mission. Uh, right out of the box, I can tell you, the hogs are here. That's for sure. There's uh, tons and tons of hog sign. Uh, I just filmed some on the way in. They were kind of just hanging out in their little spot. I snuck up with, uh, snuck up on them in the kayak. But uh, yeah, big, big, good, nice size hogs. And uh, I may actually come in and set up on them for a little practice with the bow and uh, try some of that out. But yeah, I'm fixing to walk in here. This is where Brandon missed his nice deer last year. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to scout some of this out. But you can see the hog sign in here is just crazy. I mean, they have tore this place up. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but it is torn up. All right, here we go. Guys, those, those hogs are coming my way. The same ones I just videoed. I think they're going to come right up here on me. <laughs> uh, things might get a little western. That's alright. We're, we're packing today. Let's see if I can't get up here and get some video for you guys. Close boys. One of y'all doesn't get popped. I better go on. Whew. Too close. Put the gangster lane on you. I put the gangster lane on you. Which one of y'all? Guys, that pig just came within <laughs> That pig just came within 15 feet of me. I knew they were going to get close. I was really debating on how bad I wanted to drag one out, but I'm here to scout, not kill pigs. But definitely a 
nice little hardwood spot to uh, set up on some pigs. Anyway, all right, let's go get that trail camera put out. Whew. <laughs> Whew. All right, guys, I think I found what I'm looking for. It's got uh, got big, got some big oak flats around me. Now they're a little thick right here, but that's why I like where I'm at. But all back in there, we got some big open oak flats. Lots and lots of acorn trees, lots of feeding trees, great big trees. I mean, and then we've got a trail with nice tracks going right through the thick, through the thick stuff. And that's what I'm looking for. We've got an old rub back in there, right there. There's a good old rub. Could even be an old scrape with that branch above it. I don't know. It looks a little, a little too big for it, but could be. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna set a camera right here on this tree. It looks like there's a trail coming out through here, and a trail going through there, possibly even this way. So yeah, this is gonna be my. Uh, so this is going to be where I set the camera up. Starting to uh, run out of time before I got to go with the kids. So me and Kurt will be back on the river in his big boat tomorrow to set some more cameras. But yeah, this will be good for the uh, Coreland spot. Which obviously this is for... I'm setting a camera here for a buck. But... Where there's going to be a where a buck's going to come through. I've been seeing doe tracks too, but the whole point of this is you can shoot two doe on Coreland this year. So I'll be coming to Coreland to get my doe, and then I'll probably go over to WMA where it's bow only, and I feel like there's a little bit better chance of more bucks just because it's bow only, and not everybody that owns a rifle can walk around in the woods and shoot whatever they see. So yeah, anyway. So I'll be hunting my doe on Coreland and hope to get my two doe and then move over to WMA. Sorry, I'm gonna get this camera set out and head out. All right, guys. First camera is set up. The first muddy camera. All right, guys. Back to the boat. And uh, yeah, about to head out of here. Pretty eventful little <laughs> scouting trip. I only got to get one camera out. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. I got to hurry up and get back, get to the kids. I'll be back out tomorrow, but uh, I just thought it'd be cool to take you guys along for a little trip. Got to show you guys I'm getting ready. I'm getting excited for the 2020 hunting season. So, yeah. I'm about to get out of here, guys.